Hello, this is Li, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. Today, I'd like to talk about migraine. Migraine is caused by abnormal brain activity, brain cell activities. This abnormal brain cell activity triggers some chemical release, which changes the blood flow in your brain. It can cause either constriction of the blood vessel or dilation of the blood vessels. Most cases, the blood vessels are constricting strongly, causing pounding headache, throbbing on one side or both sides. Because the constriction of the blood vessel, it can influence your vision. You can see um, blurry vision and uh, wavy lines and sometimes um, some people have changed the vision field and certain area they couldn't see anything. So the migraine can last it between an hour to 72 hours without any interactions. So what can cause those migraine episodes? Um, there are many reasons which can trigger this uh, abnormal brain activities uh, like change the sleep cycle, you suddenly decided to go to bed very late and get up very late and that can change your melatonin release, uh, your cortisol release and prolonged time in front of artificial light such as in front of computer which can stimulate your brain cell activity and causing abnormal release of the chemicals in your brain cell. Also, like uh, missing meals causing low blood sugar can trigger that. Strong coffee or tea. If you drink coffee regularly, two, three cups, then you actually sensitize your sympathetic nervous system. So you blood vessel can strongly react to cold, heat, stress. Uh, if you don't drink coffee too much every day, and when you do have migraine, you actually can use coffee to help you relieve the migraine. So try to keep one or two cups, not too, too many cups of coffee, can help you to reduce the migraine frequency and intensity. The other thing is the hormone changes. So teenagers and menopause women experiences the abnormal hormone changes before your period, the hormone can suddenly drop or using birth control pill, your progesterone level goes down very a lot just because uh, you blocked the ovulation or for menopause women because the ovarian function is declining, the progesterone level decline much, much more than estrogen. So the relaxing part of the hormones, progesterone, GABA, serotonin, all can contribute to the migraine if that drops too much. And when your stress level goes up, also it change your brain activities. It can make your nervous system more sensitive to any kind of environmental changes. And I also like to mention tyramine. This chemical um, is in wine, aged cheese, uh, smoked foods, and this tyramine can cause the constriction of your peripheral blood vessel in hand and the feet. It cannot cross your brain uh, blood barrier but it can increase your blood pressure, so it can also induce migraine. And the other chemical called nitrates, it uh, uh, exists in hot dogs, salami, um, or other processed uh, meat. So if you eat a lot of processed meat, this chemical can also trigger the migraine. And in New England area, Lyme disease can cause inflammation of the blood vessel. Uh, that can also make your blood vessel very sensitive 
um, to the environmental changes. If you have high blood pressure, you take beta blocker, and that also can cause dilation of the blood vessel constantly. That can also make you prone to headache. Pregnant can change your hormones. Estrogen, progesterone all go, go up very high. So if you uh, tip over the balance of the estrogen and progesterone, you can get a headache. So all of those um, triggers can cause migraine. And only one thing will not cause migraine. It's when you put everything together. So you don't sleep well, you're taking birth control pill, and then you drink too much coffee. You put everything together and the migraine will come. If you only rely on medication, those magic pills, initially they work, but then they stop working. You have to increase the dosage. When you gradually increase dosage, the side effect will become worse and worse. You become drowsy, your brain activity are shut down. So how can we prevent those migraines? And if you tend to develop migraines, you need to regulate your sleep, don't go to bed too late, and avoid too much coffee and alcohol. Alcohol dilates the blood vessel, causing inflammation of the blood vessels. So if you currently have frequent migraine, try to cut down alcohol or stop alcohol for a couple of weeks and reintroduce that and see how much your body can tolerate without inducing migraine. Uh, if you do have allergies, you need to treat allergies and find what's caused the allergies because with the frequent allergy symptoms, your histamine level going up and high level of histamine can also cause blood vessel dilation and not only that, it can cause the fluids come out of the blood vessel and also inflammation of the blood vessel. The other thing I want to mention, avoid artificial sweetener like aspartate, glutamate. Those sweetener can mimic the effect of neurotransmitter causing abnormal blood vessel movement. So avoid artificial sweetener or cut down will reduce your frequency of migraine. When you do have um, migraine, you can uh, apply a cold towel on the area where you have the headache, and that will constrict the blood vessel. I'd like to show you one acupuncture point. Um, it's called acupressure point also. You can use that to prevent migraine. So one is the large intestine four, and the other one is gallbladder 20. And there are also a lot of research showing gallbladder 40, which is located just below and um, uh, on the external side of your ankle bone. So you find that the tip of um, external ankle bone and go behind and front and then you can press that point, gallbladder 40, a lot of people do the research. So if you can lie down and pressing that gallbladder 40, gallbladder 20, large intestine 4 to prevent the migraine. So if you need more information, you can go to bostonchineseacupuncture.org and uh, search point and the keyword to find the right answer.